Good morning, dear friends. We are gathered together here now to dedicate this whole day, new day to God, our Father, who has given us a good night and a good day to praise and love Him and worship Him with much gratitude in our hearts. Everything is a gift from God. We, my name is Father Paul Marx, and I'll be Mary Immaculate here in Denmark. And you join us now with our entire Albany community to praise, worship, and honor God as our gracious, loving, caring Father. We start with prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The prayer I want to take is a prayer Paul the Apostle has prayed for his church, his Christians in Colossae. Chapter 1. Father, we ask you that you fill us with the knowledge of your holy will and all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Help us to lead a life worthy of you, dear Lord, fully pleasing to you, bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of you. May you be strengthened. May you strengthen us, dear Father, with all your holy power according to your glorious might, for all endurance and patience with joy. We ask this to Christ Jesus the Lord. Amen. Today we have Sunday, the 7th of June, uh, January, and it's the last day of Christmas season where the church celebrates the feast of the baptism of Lord Jesus Christ. Father in heaven has given us wonderful words through his servants, the prophet Isaiah, St. John the Apostle, and, and St. Mark the Evangelist. In the first reading for today, from the prophet Isaiah, God says to us, Come to the water for all you who are thirsty, though you have no money, come. We have come to the waters of baptism, thirsting for salvation, thirsting to be loved and to love God, thirsting to be one with God forever in heaven. And God has washed us in baptism, taking away all our sins, and recreated us as whole new human beings. In John's first letter, we hear God speaking to us again through John. Whoever believes that Jesus is the Christ has been gotten by God. And whoever loves the Father that begot him, loves the Father, loves the child whom he begets. We can be sure that we love God's children if we love God himself and do what he has commanded us. This is what loving God is, keeping his commandments. And his commandments are easy to keep, as John continues to say. What are God's commandments? Very simple. As Christ told us, be like myself, be like God. Love as I love, forgive as I forgive. We are to be like God. That's impossible, we say. It is impossible, but God has given us his Holy Spirit. As Mark tells us, or God tells us through Mark and his Gospel for today, where he speaks of St. John the Baptist. John the Baptist says, What's coming after me? Who will baptize you with the Holy Spirit? The power of the Holy Spirit, that love between God and the Father, is within us. That same power that raised Christ from the dead, that same power that was in Christ Jesus, that, that made Jesus heal, raise the people from the dead, and so forth and so on, drew out demons and so forth. That same power which is within us, the Holy Spirit that transforms us into God's holy, loving people. And St. John the Baptist says further, or Mark brother tells us what John the Baptist saw, the heavens open over Jesus Christ after he was baptized, the Spirit coming down upon Jesus, and the heavens, voice from the heavens saying, this is my beloved Son, my favor rests on him. And indeed, God's favor rests on us too, when we really obey his commandments, that is, we let God love us, and we respond to that love by loving others as God loves them and forgives them as God forgives. These are wonderful texts that God gives us today, and we will receive them with our whole heart and live these words that God tells us. We end now with a prayer, a prayer that I want to pray, which is found in the old calendar for the baptism of Jesus Christ on the 13th of January. And there we pray, O God, whose only begotten Son appeared in the substance of our flesh, grant that the grace to be inwardly refashioned by him who shared our outward likeness, who is, who is God. We ask this to Christ Jesus the Lord. Amen. Let us conclude with a little blessing. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And his Spirit rest upon you in such a way that you today 
really just feel the power of His Spirit to be like Jesus Christ in every single way. Amen. So wish you all a very wonderful day in God's holy grace. And know He's always with you, loving you, taking good care of you. So you have nothing to fear. Trust Him every single way. All this holy day God has given you. This